There's another altar. Her name's Bess. Bess? What is she like? Well, I don't, I don't know if... If Tess is all of my angry feelings and she's me with no feelings, uh, she said that she was the, the gatekeeper. The controller? Yeah. She said that she was here to protect me, but she scared the hell out of me. Well, of course she did, honey. Of course she did. That's the nature of this syndrome, you know. We create altars to avoid what's frightening us. So it's not really Bess who scared you. It's whatever brought her here. But, uh, you know, if Tess came out to help me deal with Nash's death and she went after Jared and Natalie, then why is Bess here? What else am I avoiding? But I've got to check everyone's ID. No problem. I won't be long. I heard you were here. Who did this? So what happened with my grandchild? You were supposed to take her back to Star and Marcy. Oh. Well, when I went to do that, I discovered that she was uh, gone. Well, what went wrong? I wish to God I knew. No, I'm not going to discuss my relationship with John with you, Dorian. Blair? No. Come on. No. I was just making the point that John and Marty used to have a relationship, and now that she's back, you have to be wondering what she wants. It's none of my business. What? <laughs> Blair, of course it's your business. <laughs> You're sleeping with the man. Aren't you a little bit worried that maybe Marty will want to pick up where they left off? See, Tess expresses your rage. And the gatekeeper is there to control your fears. What am I afraid of? Oh, honey. The way you lost your husband, you know. It could be anything. It could be being alone or death. The point is that Bess has probably been there all along. That's what she said. She said that she's been watching me. Yeah, that's what they do. My gatekeeper was is Jean Randolph. I mean, I, I didn't know she was there. I wasn't aware of it, but she'd been there for all, all along. And that's what she was doing, watching over all the various facets of my personality. So, uh, Bess is a good alter? Yes and no. If she's anything like Jean, she was created to keep order and to protect you. But that means she's completely pragmatic. She has no sense of right or wrong. Jean was the one that put Dorian in the secret room. Yeah. Actually, that's what led me to find Natalie and Jared. So do you think that Tess remembered that Jean did that? Well, somebody did, yeah. But look at it this way. The fact that you remember a conversation that you had with Bess, that's unbelievably good. No, uh, Bess didn't really tell me anything. All she said was that she took control of the situation. I wonder what that meant. My love life is the least of my worries right now. I just think you should face what happened. What happened is Todd lost his mind yet again. And not only do I have to raise three kids on my own, I have to deal with the fact that everybody in the world knows that my ex-husband held a woman hostage, a woman that he raped. In that newspaper article, Todd is quoted as saying they're in love. Todd loves a man in the mirror. That's true. He also says that they uh, were happy, blissfully happy. Well, you know what? I saw Marty with Todd today, and there's nothing blissful about it. In fact, she hates his guts now. John put Todd in the hospital, and John's in jail. So. You're really not worried about what's going to happen Listen between Marty and... to me. Even if I had the time to worry about it, it's not an issue. Marty has amnesia. She doesn't even remember John. Okay? Honey, there's nothing wrong with John's memory. I feel like there's something going on inside of me. Something that I, I don't want to know about, I don't want to face, and that's why Tess was able to reemerge. She was only here for about an hour, darling, which means you're stronger than you were. Bess said that uh, she let Tess out because of the baby. Yeah. Yeah, she was adamant about seeing her. You talked to her? 
Oh, yes, yes. She doesn't like me at all, you know, but I, I totally understand that. Well, d d did she see the baby? Yeah, she did. She didn't hurt her. No, darling, no. Baby's fine. No, she never even touched her. She just looked. Looked at her. That's all. Well, 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 what is it? What's wrong? Why aren't you telling me? There's nothing wrong, okay? Nothing wrong. The, the only thing is Tess was incredibly upset. And she kept saying that the nurse had brought her the wrong baby, which she had not. She kept saying that the baby wasn't hers. Janet and I went back to get the baby. We were so relieved that you changed your mind. And the baby? In the crib where we left her. Only her color was bad. She wasn't breathing. She was gone. No apparent reason. All the tests were fine. My first thought was that it was Sid, sudden infant death syndrome. I know what it is. Anyway, the family insisted on an autopsy. Well, Dr. Lord did. That was my fault. That's what I do. I destroy things. Why did you do it? Why did you change your mind? Was it because of that woman? The one in your house? It's all over the news. What did they say? That you held that poor woman hostage. I loved her. Why are you hounding me about John and Marty? I don't care about John and Marty. <laughs> Except the impact they make on my family because my family has been through way too much already and there will probably be more the police will probably charge todd well <laughs> right who who will uh hurl insults make accusations hire an expensive team of lawyers until somebody finally shoots him and then we can have some peace honey it's not gonna be easy I just don't want you to have any problems with John. John is the only one that doesn't cause me problems, Dorian. Mm. Still, with Marty Saybrook being back. Okay, okay. Let me just make things really, really clear for you right now. I enjoy John's company, but we're really not an item. I mean, we've never even been out on a real date. I've just practically shared a beer with him, and that's it. Never breakfast in bed. Dorian. I'm not making a judgment no, here. No, you know what you're doing? You're hassling me. You really are. And I don't even hope I want to get into a serious relationship with John. I mean, he is a nice guy. We talk. We can... We have a good time together, but that is it. That's more than most couples have after years of marriage. I definitely don't want to get married. I just got a divorce. Well, of course you don't. I, I don't want to get married either. Of course, it's nice to have romance, good sex, and nice presents. Oh, well, you, you can stop right there because John is definitely gonna, not going to buy me presents because that's certainly not him. He seems to make you happy. I'd like that to continue. Well, you know what? So would I. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? You like him. <laughs> Admit it. Oh, okay. I like him. <laughs> Make you happy? Are you happy? <laughs>